you who were Orlando Pirates supporters back in the day in the 80s will remember the name Manny Faria. Played next to Esther Khomani there at the back. A lot of you won't know that he changed his surname somewhere along the line and it became Gordinho. And then he had a son and then he had another son. And the one of those two sons is here in the studio. Lorenzo Gordino, Kaiser Chief Centre Back. Welcome to Sport of 10. How are you? I'm good, thanks to you. Your time was a Buccaneer? Yeah, he was. How was has back he, in the day. He told back you stories? Uh, not in detail, just general stories of when he used to play. You know, the struggle of playing at that time, the competition, the challenges. Uh. So just basic um, experiences that he went through. Teammates with some great players, though. Yeah, I know. He has been. And he's told me about those players, you know. Only, uh. good, only good things to say. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, no. no. Sure. But then, with that in mind, how do you end up wearing the Glamour Boys uh, uh, yellow and gold? Uh, I think for me at a stage, I was at Pirates Development. Um, until I was 15 and then I think I needed a change in my career. Mm. I needed growth, you know, and Pirates gave me the best foundation and then I just had to take that to the next level and that's when I went to Chiefs and then that's, who they've made me where I am today. You s did Chiefs, you got there at the age of 15, signed with the senior team in 2013. Yes. And that time has not, it hasn't seen you on the field too much. No, it hasn't, um, but my time is coming. Mm. Uh, I've been patient, I've been working hard and I know that day will come when I become a regular in the team. That season could even be this season because already this season you played more games than you played in the previous two seasons. Yeah. What's the change been about? How come we're seeing more of Gordinho and you're playing 90 minutes uh, uh, under Steve Compella? I just think that um, it's not really a change. I've been working hard since I've been at the club and I just think now all that hard work's paying off and it's meeting the opportunities, you know, and that's what's getting me to these performances. I mean, at the end of last season, Mashamaita even called you out and said, that game against Chippa United, that 90 minutes you played last game of the season, mm. you were brilliant. Yeah, I know. I've always um, looked up to Masha because he was a great leader, a great captain and a good professional. And he always pushed me at training along with other centre-backs that we've had. Mm. And I just think from their guidance as well as my own um, initiative, I think that's what's made me where I am today. And you know, the performances that I'm giving, I've worked really hard to get to this point. You're only 21. So when you do say you have time on your side, yes, you do have time on your yeah. side. And at the same time, though, you're playing with the national team at under-23 level. And that team is going places this season. Yeah, the team is doing very well. Um, I wasn't part of the squad recently, that, um, this recent camp, but they are doing very well. I've been following their results. Uh. So it's good for them and good for the country as a whole. Or Will good you, for us, should I say. With these performances, you think you'll be on the plane headed up to Senegal to play in the uh, under-20 CAF tournament, which, if you do well, you can go to the Olympic Games. Yes, I hope so. You know, um, as a goal, as a youngster, I've always wanted to be part of, you know, the national setup. You know, I wanted to go to the Olympics and the 17 World Cup. Unfortunate, and the 20 World Cup, we never qualified. And you know, this is the next step for me in my career. Mm. Now, let's talk about the business at hand, because Telcom knockout, and that word knockout, it's everything. Yeah. It's 90 minutes and it's over. That comes up on the weekend. Kaiser Chiefs are away from home against the Mpumalanga Black Aces. What are the preparations looking like? Uh, what's the sense of the club? Especially when you look at last night. I mean, last night didn't go too well. There was a draw there. Yeah. I just think that the, the atmosphere in the club is very high. You know, the confidence is high. Although things aren't going exactly for us, but they're not going against us. You know, there's a stalemate at the moment. So mm. we're trying to break the stalemate, you know, to get going, get the momentum. And I think once it happens, um, we'll be unstoppable again. It's just getting to that point where things turn for us. I mean. Mbumalanga Black Aces will come in with a lot of confidence. Yeah. They were, you saw that. No, I, I didn't see <laughs> Did I didn't you believe see. that miracle? Uh, no, no. <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I thought this was the thing that minutes. was going to shut them off, you know, just you know, demoralize them a bit. But it's showing that they're willing to fight, and that's going to be a good challenge for us on the weekend. I mean, let's assume you get a chance. Steve Compella says, Lorenzo, I want you in the team. That's you up against uh, a man like uh, um, Mbesuma. That's a big challenge. It is a big challenge, but I'm familiar with um, um, the physicality of him, you know, based on strikers that I've worked with. Um, in the team, you know, Spelele is a big guy, mm. um, and Dulu is a big boy, so, you know, and based on that, I'm, I'm used to the physicality of everything, you know, so I think that is his main aspect as a striker, you know, he's physical and he's clever at the same time, so I think I'm familiar with his type of play. How do you stop a big guy? Because that's interesting, you know, when you've got a guy that kind of size, that yeah. kind of power, um, you're not the biggest, tallest guy in the world, okay. how do you stop a player like that? It's either get to the ball before he does, or um, be quicker than he does, or be smarter than he is. You know, there's, there's various ways based on the situation in the game. Mm. Yeah. But it's not playing to his strengths, you know, he must conform to your strengths. Basically. Have the Amakosi faithful seen the best of you yet? What more can you deliver at Kaiser Chiefs? I think there's a lot more that I can deliver. With time, they will start to see all my aspects that I can offer in the game.
So uh, this is just the beginning mm. um, for my career. When you talk about yourself, I mean, uh, there is the potential you may play. We don't know what Steve Compella's lineup is for the Telcom knockout over the weekend. Tickets are available at Compu Tickets, so make sure you get out there and start uh, getting them up because it will be fascinating all over the country with those quarterfinals coming up. But what are your strengths? What makes you a player that is now able to, to put on the jersey at Kaiser Chiefs? I think that I've matured into the centre-back role and um, I'm one of the fastest centre-backs. You know, I'm clever, I'm smart. You got speed? I have speed. Who told you? Hey? Who's told you that story that, no, I'm one, I'm one of the fastest guys around? I'm I mean, not, I'm not the slowest, but I'm, I'm, I can keep up with the fastest. Tell me a training. Know? Give me an example. When you're doing sprints and training, who is ahead of you and who's behind you? You see, we don't, they don't challenge me. That's the thing. They, they just stay to the side. So I can't, I can't really compare. No, 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 no. <laughs> when the coach says sprint. Sprint. How far from the back or the front are you? Uh, we do it in pairs. Um, I usually work with Jabu Mangmele because uh. he's, he's a bit speedy. Okay, uh. he's a bit, I'm going to give it to him, he is a bit in front of me, but you know, he's pushing me, he's pushing me. Because if I can catch him, then I can catch anyone. You know? And he's quick. Uh. And once he gets his full fitness, I believe he'll be unstoppable this season. You know, he's, he's coming along nicely. Before we wrap things up, uh, Lorenzo, I think Amakosi Faithful would like to hear from you because you're in the club. Yeah. What can you tell them to expect? against Bumala Black, Black Aces in the Telcom knockout this weekend? Uh, for them, I'd just like to say that um, I know we disappointed ourselves as much as them, you know, when we lost in the final of the MT8 and we want to make right by them. So we're going to give it our all. You know, Chiefs don't go out to play and expect to draw or lose. We go out there to win, which is the main objective for us. And we want to win, go through and win the cup for them, as well as the league, get back on track for, uh, with the campaign. Now give us that pose you gave me when you walked in, because when he walks in, he gives me the pose. <laughs> The Amakosi pose. Let's say goodbye with that <laughs> one. Lorenzo <laughs> Gardino, <laughs> there he is, giving us the uh, Amakosi pose. <laughs> and you're seeing on the screen the live action as far as the Telcom knockout. Thanks for being with us tonight. Thank we really so appreciate so it and all the best, not only with your career at Kaiser Chiefs, but with the national team. If you can thanks, get to the thanks, Olympic thanks. Games, if you're called up for that, oh, you will have done us proud. Thanks, thanks, Thomas. Lorenzo Gardino. His dad was a baganier, but he's doing the business uh, for Kaiser Chiefs and his younger brother as well. Anthony is a footballer at Ajax. So that's what's going on in their family, a football family that maybe we need to bring into the studio one of the days and talk about their football family now.